Democrats suffered a big loss in Virginia. The Republican candidate for Governor Glenn Youngkin shocked the political world by beating Democrat Terry McAuliffe, sending a firm message to current elected leaders in Washington, D.C. It comes as President Joe Biden returned to the White House overnight. We have team coverage tonight, starting with White House correspondent Owen Jensen. Owen? Tracy, good evening to you. Tonight, President Joe Biden and his fellow Democrats are licking their proverbial wounds after that stunning victory by Glenn Youngkin, the Republican winning despite the president's pushback. All righty, Virginia, we won this thing! Republican Glenn Youngkin savoring his victory in the Virginia governor's race and telling a cheering crowd when day one on the job arrives. We're going to restore excellence in our schools. Here in Virginia, in an amazing turnaround, Glenn Youngkin was able to defeat Terry McAuliffe and his state president Joe Biden won by 10 points in 2020, a state that has shifted to the left. But last night, Youngkin was able to change all that in a big hurry. President Joe Biden and other top Democrats even campaigned for the former Virginia governor, but to no avail. A woman's right to choose. While Terry McAuliffe and the Democrats went after the pro-life Glenn Youngkin by highlighting abortion and denouncing the new Texas heartbeat law, an AP vote cast survey said only 5% of Virginia voters ranked abortion at the top of their concerns, and it was the pro-life candidate who won. The losing candidate, in a statement today, congratulated Glenn Youngkin on his victory, but Terry McAuliffe added, we must protect a woman's right to choose. Democrats for Life responded, Terry McAuliffe made his campaign about abortion, and Youngkin wiped the floor with him. Students for Life added, this win adds to the momentum we need as we work for a pro-life victory in 2022 at the national level. Republicans also celebrate the newly elected lieutenant governor of Virginia, Winsome Sears, becomes the first black female to win the job. One conservative tweeted a picture of Winsome Sears holding a gun and wrote, she's everything Democrats fear most. Now, White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain retweeted a quote saying Democrats will use their loss to further push the president's economic agenda. They think voters are frustrated with the Democrats' slow pace of action. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.